Oh. Oh. Prisoner 11919, you've been sent to a desolate planet with no life. Your goal is to make it as livable as Mars. Should you fail, you will perish and be forgotten in the sands of time. If you succeed, well, we'll get to that if you do. So far, no one has. Good luck, you'll need it. All right. <laughs> I will fucking need it, are you? <laughs> um, hey, is this still recording? <sighs> well, I'm fucked, aren't I? Hey, let's go! We got our first upgrade! It's incredible! Finally, an oxygen tank! Now I don't need to hold my breath when I go out! But I couldn't live in this small hunk of junk forever, so I built myself a small little base with a infinite oxygen supply! Isn't that so cool? And then I went out exploring. I had originally seen a crash ship on one of those mountains, so I went out to explore that and look for some loot. Hopefully it had some good stuff inside of it. And surprise, surprise, I couldn't get in. So I went back to my setup and started to look at some tech. This would tell me where I actually needed to start. Oh my God, this is so much. Can we even finish this in 24 hours? I mean, yeah, I have to terraform an entire planet. Of course I'm gonna need a lot, but I can't shame my past self too much, okay? And that's because I would need a metric ton of resources to run all of these machines to actually change this planet. There are three different sectors we are going to be looking at. Oxygen, heat, and pressure. The three of these combined are going to be able to change this planet as we know from being barren to being even better than Earth. Is this treasure? What's it gonna be? With resources out of the way, I wanted to see how big the world was and what laid beyond the hill. And my god, whatever company keeps trying to land on this planet, just stop. Your pilots are shit. But the treasures they had inside were lovely, and I'll be taking all of that, or at least as much as I can carry. My pockets aren't very big. And next we're going to ignore this, ignore this. Nothing to see here but a failed project that took me 40 minutes to do and ended up scrapping a little bit later. Let's move on. I was struggling to find some elements I needed for more heaters and upgrades though. You know what that means. We went exploring over the hills and down them too. Shit, I don't know what else to do. But we found some other weird stuff over here. So we'll pass it off before this gets even cringier. Whoa, look at this place, this is epic! Echo! 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 And that's not all. I also found out where Iridium spawns. That's right, it spawns. I was struggling to find the stuff to make more heaters, which of course will make the heat in the planet go up. And this is the only the start of my adventure because I explored a few more shipwrecks, learning how to dance along the way. But I'd gotten too greedy and forgotten how to keep track of my oxygen supply, which was running deadly low. I knew I couldn't get back in time, so in a last ditch effort, I scrambled around the desert looking for scraps and materials left behind. And with my life hanging on by a thread, I made it in my makeshift house. Woo! That was close, man. That was too close. I uh, must have some good stuff on me. I can't lose it now. And while I was gone, I passed the first milestone. This planet now has a blue sky. Over the next two hours, all I did was gather resources, build myself a jetpack, which was really cool, I really enjoyed it, and explore some of the biomes scattered around the planet. Jackpot! Oh yes! This one is stacked! Oh, I'll be able to make so many jetpacks now, and with that, I'll be able to leave this planet very soon. What the fuck? Why did I say such dumb shit? Was I drunk? Now that I had a storage system large enough for everything, I can terraform this planet. Except I kept running out of power, and once I got power I had no resources so I had to start an exploration to find more and... Huh? Is that rain? We got rain on this planet now, let's go! Oh, it feels so much more alive already! Oh, I could cry, we've made so much good progress since we started here! 
Also, I discovered we can do alchemy in this game. But I don't have the resources for that yet, so we'll do that at a later time. Early in the game, I did get a message from a friend of mine saying that I would need to move to higher altitudes for an important reason. Is that reason maybe like aliens? So I started scouting the surrounding mountains for the best one, and most of them were fake. Illusions. This must have been aliens, I must have been a simulation. Nah, couldn't be. <laughs> Anyways, I gave up mountain climbing and took up robbery instead because there are a lot more crashed ships around this planet than I thought. What if a company that says, just stop sending ships, they keep crashing, you never learn. And it didn't even have much good loot in it to boot. What a waste. Um, that really happened during hour nine. So yeah. At this point, I had warmed up the planet so much that water had started to form and small microscopic beings had started to exist. Life was born on this planet. And now it's time to launch some rockets into space because I need to cause some global warming. Did I mention the nuclear reactor? We were halfway through the challenges now, and although I made progress, it wasn't enough. There were still so many phases to go through, and constantly less time to finish it in. So the plan was simple. Gather mountains of resources, make more radioactive power plants, good for the environment, make a lot of machines, definitely won't kill the planet in the future, and wait. But no matter how hard I looked, I couldn't find this blue ore anywhere. Where do we find Osmium? Is there a hidden cave somewhere that I don't know of? Yes, there is. I metagamed this bitch and wrote down some shit. The next few hours may be a bit busy, but it'll all be worth it. Except, you'll never see them.